I guess this week, um, what I'm noticing is that for this week's walk and talk, um, I think we should probably talk about market condition. Um, had some issues last week with some closings and some things I could probably talk about per se. But overall, what I would say is um, market condition has kind of come, kind of filtered to the top this week. There's a lot of political things going on uh, in the market. There's a lot of uh, talk of rising interest rates. Um, I've had quite a few uh, run-ins with other realtors where we've, we've uh, talked about pipelines. Uh, and what, for a realtor, a pipeline just means how many closings do you have coming up? What do you have coming up in the next month, two months? Uh, talk to a few real estate agents that are kind of at the end of their pipeline, if that makes sense to you. It basically just means, hey, um, you know, once I get these three closed, I don't have anything else coming up. I don't have any new contracts in the, in the pipeline. Uh, that's serious. I mean, that, that makes the market um, interesting. And that's one thing that makes real estate so interesting is that uh, when we're talking about uh, the market, we are talking about how, much, how many deals do you have coming up? You know, are they, what type of deals are they? Are we talking about a lot of foreclosures? Are they short sales? Uh, regular sales, new construction, you know, uh, it's talking about new construction. Uh, new construction seems to be tapped. When I say tapped, I mean kind of full up. I've seen a lot of builders giving a lot bigger bonuses to bring buyers to their, to their houses. What does that mean? Well, looks like, you know, overall, when we're talking about that, that they're not seeing that they're not seeing the quantity of buyers that they like to see. So they're gonna entice real estate agents to bring them the buyers versus take them to a pre-existing home that doesn't offer as much commission. Uh, so if you're a seller, that kind of means you need to get real aggressive with uh, selling your house, uh, do a good commission rate to the realtors so they bring people to your door rather than to the builder's door. Um, when we're also talking about the market, the market kind of um, right now is screaming that uh, we're in a slower point. Um, we've noticed it, other real estate agents have noticed it. Uh, lenders are noticing it. There, there's not the quantity of buyers that there was. Now, the inventory is still low. So you're still seeing a lower inventory, but the even with the lower inventory the buyer buyer load seems to be less so what does that mean to you well if you're a seller basically that means that the market has slowed enough to where you're probably not going to see the activity you had unless your house is priced really well and that pricing is going to be super important along with commission to make sure that your house moves quickly in the time allotted uh, a lot of the houses that we list they were having 30 and 15 to 30 day, you know, contract days on market. Um, it's going up. It's, it's not going down, it's going up. Uh, and it depends on kind of what price range you're in. If you're in this local market, what, we're, what we typically see is that the lower price range houses tend to fit this area better. And so because the lower price range houses fit this area better, you're gonna see more um, people that are going to be available for that particular home. If you're in a higher price range bracket, typically the houses move a little slower. You know, when you're in that two to three hundred thousand dollar range, you're, there's not as many buyers for you. Now, um, market. The market's still good. The market is still strong. And I think it will continue to be strong throughout the end of the year. Uh, it will typically slow. Uh, at the date I'm doing this video, we are in October, beginning of October. And in the beginning of October, we're still seeing strong buyer indications, strong seller indications. Um, we personally have, I think, about five or six more listings coming on the market, uh, working with multiple buyers at the moment. So still seeing a really good market, still seeing a really positive outlook for the end of the year. Um, but I will say this, I do think that we will see a pretty harsh slowdown, you know, 
through November, December, January until the beginning of the year, we're going to see a pretty harsh slowdown. What would I tell you? Uh, just be cognizant of it. Is, it. is it a bad time to sell? No, it's not a bad time to sell. Is it a bad time to buy? Not particularly, just need to be careful. I think I did a video, the last video I did, it was about making offers on property uh, last week. Uh, and that still applies. Um, that video is still still accurate. Uh, what I would tell you though is you're, we are seeing kind of a, a dip in the market a little bit. I don't know that um, uh, I would call it uh, you know, bubble bursting or anything of that nature. I would just call it a slow in the market uh, because of time of year, interest rates rising. Um, and I would also say it's because of inventory. You know, our inventory is catching up with itself. So you're seeing more houses, more choices. So buyers have more choices to choose from. Uh, what I would tell you, it's not a bad time to buy. Just be careful. Don't overpay for a house right now. Uh, what you want to do is bide your time. The, the longer you wait, the... Uh, more mark the market will get more positive for you as a buyer because there'll be more inventory hit the market uh, th over the Christmas time and um, holiday season Thanksgiving Christmas not just Christmas uh, but you'll also see the fact that uh, the interest rates are going to rise a little bit so your your buying power is going to go down some uh, so, am I saying don't buy now? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that you need to be careful. Uh, and if you need help with that, if that's something that you would say, hey, Skip, you know, I could use a little little help in the market to kind of see where the market's at, we would count it a privilege to help you out. If you're a seller, we'd love to sit down and talk to you about what the market's doing. Um, maybe you've looked at Zillow and Trulia and you think, wow, I should sell my house now. Uh, maybe you get a, maybe you got a job transfer. We work with a lot of different folks in a lot of different scenarios. And over the past 15 years, we've helped a lot of people sell their house and we've helped a lot of people buy their house. We would count it a privilege if you would allow us to help you. Uh, meeting with us is free. We don't charge anything. Uh, we can give you a free market analysis if you're selling a home. Uh, if you're buying a home, we'd love to sit down, kind of go through the process of purchasing, kind of go through the process of um, what's the next step, Skip. What, what do I do now? Um, all of those things are things that I think that you could, you know, things that can help you. Uh, and again, it's not like we charge anything for it. So we would love to help you. Feel free to give me a call. You can uh, send me a text message. You can uh, contact me any way you, you can think of pretty much. I'm on pretty much all the social media sites. So uh, we appreciate you. We appreciate Pensacola. And uh, if this video has been helpful, I'd appreciate it if you like it. If uh, you'd like to see me do a video on something else, maybe you'd say, hey, what's the, what's the process for purchasing? How do, where do I start? All of those things I can help you with, and I'm happy to do a video on them. Uh, and we'd love to help you out. Once again, thank you, and we appreciate you watching, and I hope this has been a blessing to you. Have a great day.